Greetings everyone. I am 914 Phyllis and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I would like to start this video off, video off by saying um, to those of you who acknowledge Re Resurrection Sunday, I invite you to pray with my family and I hope that I am invited to pray with you and thank God for sending his son. And we believe that here in my house and um, we are with you, all of, all of you who believe. Thank God for Jesus. Um, and secondly, I would really like to say thank you to all of my um, overwhelming responses with regards to my As You Like It's channel. Now, those of you who may have gone over and you look at my um, look in my store and you see that that inventory isn't moving. It's because I have overwhelming requests for similar items of different colors. And you guys have blown up my credit card machine and given and, and paid me those deposits and you are willing to wait for the, the time um, because of the orders that I have received. I want to thank all of you um, because that helps to keep the sister in business. Um, now you have to understand that I'm working, I'm not falling asleep on any of your stuff. I'm working and I'm trying to get your orders out to you. Um, those items that must, uh, that need to be sewn um, by the sewing machine, I kind of put second because, um, you know, the jewelry thing is a, a little less tedious sometimes depending on what you want um, to order. But again, Thank you so much for your overwhelming response with regards to my jewelry, my site, my website, and my store, and um, everything that you have thought of me, you thought enough of me to um, come over and look at my stuff, and and you even thanked me for keeping my prices um, as low as they are, and I, I want to thank you so much. God bless all of you, and you know, tell your friends. I'm here for that. Now, the last video I made was April 1st, and on April 1st, um, it was pretty late at night. I came home from work, and um, I was so anxious to show you the item that I had made that I went ahead and did the video in the dark. And so, some of my responses were um, for you guys to see the um, that necklace that I had made with some light, and that's fair. And I, you know, no issue. I'll take care of that. Um, so the the uh, remember these my hoops junior hoops junior in metallic green brown. Well, I made them a hoops junior necklace. The pendant is the two and a half inch diameter. Um, just like the earrings and the, the necklace itself is rope twisted 19 inches long and it um, of course is matching color and it just has the row of beads in the back and I have them connected with brass toggle clasp here All right, it's easy to easy to manage. So now, I guess my my uh, hoops collection is gonna start having accompaniments. I mean, all right, no problem. We can do that. All right, and for those of you who couldn't see my hoops junior necklace in the dark, here it is in the light. It's not hanging right in my hand. Let me put it on. So. On this neck here. There you go. There it is. All right. There you are. Okay. Now, I don't have anything new that I was ready to put in the store, but I would like to show you, just in case you may have. Um, a color request again, um, something that I'm working on. 
Something that I'm experimenting with is this little necklace thing here. Um, it's just a little, I, I know that was quick, right? It's just a little choker, right? But it's just very delicate. And what's going to happen with this is because I was testing it out, I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to try to make a real design. I was talking to one of my friends who was trying to describe something to me. And I kind of thought it was something like this, but I'm really in the middle of working on that. It is very different. And once I show it to my friend to make sure that I have the right idea, um, that item will become available. It is one of these delicate little chokers. Um, and it's going to be lovely when I get it out here for you. Um, but as far as having anything new to put in the store, uh, okay, so anyway, I've got this peyote pattern. I attached this peyote pattern, the clear beads with the black stripe, and I made the watch band. And at the end of the watch band, I put rubber, so it's adjustable. So it doesn't really matter. I got the watch face from the craft store and I made this peyote pattern and attached it to the watch. I turned it inside out to let you see it just in case you have to change the battery or anything like that. The space is open. But if you have a color request, uh oh, you need to do that. Also, just in case you have a color request. I got another watch face from the craft store. Now, I have tape here because I'm trying to um, manage the decoration that I have on the um, attachment to it. I've got the, the, the little, I've got a little seed beach string things here. And I don't, they, right now they're, they're out of control. They're out of control, and you can't really, they're not tame. But, so when you put the watch on, they're sticking up everywhere, okay? They're just sticking up everywhere, and so I put the tape on them just to try to tame them. But this watch band is just made from four strands of gold beads on a stretchy wire, and I put a little... Um, an attachment here so that they're not flying away so it's a nice little watch band very flexible very cute just in case you have a color request um, something I'm very proud of is my floating jewelry my floating jewelry is somewhere I mean I know I have this thing here <laughs> all right so I've got my you may remember from my website that I put this on as uh, Purple Elegance. Well, I have a similar item called Blue Magic, but I didn't want to give them the same name. So this one is Purple Elegance, and they're made floating specialty beads on silver wire and um, nickel-free earring finding. Silver nickel-free. It's not, um, I mean, they're about six and a half inches long. They're not heavy at all. They're just dramatic. I love stuff like that. And they have a necklace, and the necklace is on a stretch wire of the special, completely specialty beads. And did I say necklace? This is a bracelet. Oh my! So I start with the brain mush again, and it has a necklace. Eight strands of floating specialty beads. Eight strands of them. And some people may not understand what that is, the floating beads, but that's because this wire is um, it's visible. It's like unaccounted for. Why isn't there anything there? And how does that happen? Well, you know, it's magic. Everybody who knows how to make floating jewelry, they know what I mean. And they're just on uh, lobster, double lobster class.
all specialty beads, no seed beads in these. So this is um this is a pretty cool project. And it's not for sale, it's mine. <laughs> I wear it. It's funny, I made this for my daughter, right? But I'm wearing it. So sad for my baby. But anyway, I have so many other things that I could show you. If you have a little girl who, you know, this is a cute little item that I made here. It's um I made a little rope twist out of some specialty tohos, toho beads here. They are cubed toho beads and I rope twisted them with little the same color seed beads and I attached them with the gold um lobster clasp. This is, you know, I can make it longer for her mom and they can have, you know, matching, but this is for the girl. And these are the matching earrings. Very light. Oh, very light. Very cute. Two inches. Okay. So these are not in the store, but. You know, they're available just in case, like I said, you have a color request. And that has been the basis of most of the, uh, the personal messages that I have received from you. And um, I really appreciate your loyalty and your um, viewership. And um, I also would like to uh, get your business. So send a friend. If you're not particularly interested in stuff, send a friend. I do friend stuff too. You know, no big deal. But again, thank you so much for your response to my channel. And, um, you know, let's get together and uh, thank God for Jesus for Resurrection Sunday. Thank you all for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.